Hello friends, I am Manisha Nahar, a mathematics teacher at HHCP High School and Junior College for Girls, Huzur Paga, Pune. In this video, I will discuss my experience of teaching very interesting topic, sets and types of sets for standard 9th. Actually, this is a new concept for students and usually they find it difficult to understand. So, I used activity-based teaching method to introduce and define sets, to differentiate between finite and infinite sets and to identify different types of sets. To introduce the topic, I used their previous experiences. I draw their attention towards how their mother organizes utensils in the kitchen or how they arranges their clothes and study materials in the cupboard or how librarian arranges books in the shelf. So, all these organizing pattern we can correlate with the mathematical concept of sets. I introduced the topic with a very simple activity. I showed them a picture with many materials, things, animal pictures in that. So, I told them to list out all the materials, all the things in that picture and categorize them using some or other criteria. And not only that, they are supposed to discuss what criteria they have used for all the classification along with their classmates. After this introductory activity, I explained the concept of sets, the methods and rules of writing sets through next activity. I distributed few cards bearing numbers 1 to 20 among the students and I asked them to categorize them into groups by using some criteria. Then I discussed those criteria with the students by asking them few questions like how many groups can be formed by using numbers 1 to 20, what criteria they have used to categorize those numbers, what can we call these groups in a mathematical form, what each and every member of that group is called as and can we write those groups using set theory. Once the students have understood the concept, I encourage them to give me some more examples of sets. Even I gave them few interesting and lively examples. Then I ask them to list few brave students in their class or the beautiful birds in the city and the amazing hill stations in the state. I ask them to cross check the answers with each other and to their surprise what they find. The answer of each and every student was different. Then I discussed with the help of those answers that such a kind of groups cannot be set. The next activity was the making of Venn diagram. For this activity, I make the groups of 10 students and I ask them to enlist the sports they play. The example of sports create enthusiasm amongst them. I made circular cutouts from colored transparent sheets and stuck them on rings. Then I placed name flags of the sports on the cutouts. I asked who enjoys cricket, who enjoys football, who enjoys cricket and football. Two students raised their hands. Here the students learned about the intersection set. Similarly, other operations can also be discussed. After doing all the above activities, students discussed among themselves the examples of sets and they came up with the types of sets. Then I asked them few questions. What are the specialized characteristics they found among all the examples? What is finite and infinite set? What is singleton and empty set? And I encouraged them to give me few more examples of types of sets. I concluded the session by giving them worksheets. I distributed the worksheets among the groups of students and I asked them to write the answers by giving proper explanation to each and every question. Then after discussing the worksheet with students, I came to know that students understood the topic sets and types of sets very well. Later, I gave them two questions as an assignment. First question was, I asked them to enlist few examples in their day to day life of singleton set, empty set or a finite set. And later on, I asked them to make a Venn diagram of the things which are there in their room. 
activity based teaching method created enthusiasm amongst my student they all participate actively in all the activities so i think you should try such activities in your classroom also and let us know your experiences link to this lesson plan is given in the description box so you should try it thank you